today, DJ Thomas White, and I just wanted to uh, share a little bit about these Ultimate Ulti Dash Mate garage cabinets that I just got. Uh, I actually need a little bit more room in my music studio, and uh, maybe even here in my garage, but I'm gonna try two of these cabinets in my music studio, and I wanna show you a little bit today about what's in the packaging and how the assembly process goes. Uh, so let's dive in, check it out. So I've got the two packages open, and first things first, here in the main package, right off the bat, are the ins assembly instructions, uh, which is great. I'm gonna need those, put those aside. Um, I've also got the bottoms of the drawers. This is a four drawer cabinet. Put these aside here. And uh, one thing I will mention is that the packaging uh, is is very sturdy and uh, this the box altogether weighed I think 107 pounds so right off the bat that tells you um, ultimate garage is not an IKEA cabinet that I those IKEA cabinets are uh, hollow hollow uh, board between laminate and uh, these are definitely not hollow boards between laminate you can see on the bottom there are brackets to attach uh, I believe the feet on this piece Wow, this has got to be the top. You can see it's just super thick. The cams are, um, the mounts are already in there. So let me put this to the side. I don't want to damage it in any way. And then, uh, looks like I've got other board pieces. Each one is labeled with a sticker. This one says J, for example. The top piece was A. Piece was, there's an F, an E, and a D. some of the drawer sides and you can see uh, get this up close you can see the hardware here is also much heavier duty uh, than your typical other off-the-shelf cabinet so looks like these are gonna be sturdy for a while these are all H pieces uh, these are eyes actually so it looks like pretty cut and dry as far as finding the right pieces. Uh, this, I would assume, is the hardware pack. We'll open that in a second. Put this in my trash area over there. More of that. A large, very large piece. This might be the back, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this is definitely the side piece. There's some very heavy duty ball bearings in here for the sliders. So, I'm really excited to see how this comes together with the quality of the hardware. side it'd be zero. Okay, so we've got our drawer handle. So let's open one of these real quick since we're doing this. Really nice stainless uh, quality there. There are four of those of course. Here are the legs. It's very important that you have a good leg when you're gonna be putting a lot of weight in the cabinet and these are no joke. Uh, they look to be maybe machined aluminum uh, with a fully adjustable bottom foot on each leg. So there are four of those. And then 
and also this is the hardware set. Let's see if I can get closer so the camera can capture this. Um, let's see up close. Full listing all the parts inside. Not some loose bag. Figure things out as you go, like IKEA. And don't get me wrong, I love the IKEA products, but they're just a different purpose. If I want something in my workshop or something that's going to hold weight and something I need to count on over time, uh, I'm going with Ultimate Garage. I mean, at least so far it looks like it, that's the case. Um, if any of you have ever had IKEA products and moved from place to place, you know after that first move, and definitely after that second move, you're struggling to keep things tight and together. You got kids in the house. That's a real worry. So, all right. I'm gonna take a look at the instructions and uh, put this back in time lapse mode and see if we can build one of these. Let's go. Okay, I did want to show one thing and bring attention to a specific part of assembly. This is um, the cam lock system, very similar to IKEA, but a little bit different uh, and much stronger. These are about twice the diameter of um, IKEA cam lock products. So this screws in here. Um, and then the interesting bit that's different is the, the locking nut that goes, that nests into the piece. Um, is different in Ikea it's just a Phillips head and you turn it and this ultimate garage cabinet this goes on the actual cam bolt and then this piece let me see if I can get in real close here this piece goes in and tightens into the end of it to really give you a firm and secure lock uh, the Ikea ones part of when I mentioned that if you move things can shake apart and things start to get loose that's because it's just a basic Phillips head um, without a lot of tension this system uh, will give you that tension that's going to make things a lot more permanent if you need to move your workshop let's get back to this got the main cabinet assembled and it was a lot easier than I thought. The cam lock system is um, no uh, electrical tools required. You can do everything with a Phillips head screwdriver um, commonly available in every tool and workshop. So uh, now let's move on to take a look at the drawers and see how that goes. drawer done the four drawers I just can't I can't say enough about the finish this is like automotive quality sparkle finish here I got the red as you can see um, the, the level of gloss on here let me just talk to you upside down on the gloss this is amazing um, and it's it's really thick so I, I don't think this is gonna get damaged if tools bump it or any of my music equipment bumps it very easily so let's try to put this in the cabinet and see what it, how it goes in down three more to go let's get busy okay as you can see I've got all four of the drawers done uh, the top drawer has that lock lock inside uh, that comes pre-assembled all of these drawers have a plastic film that's on them that has been taken off but you can just see how lovely that finish is there um, one thing I wanted to mention is that the kit also comes with this piece here that can be mounted uh, to your wall so that if you don't want to put the feet on the cabinet, you can actually uh, wall hang it with the French cleat style of attachment. Uh, the last thing I have to do before I put the drawers in is this does come with an internal back. Uh, not so critical with the drawer unit here. 
So as you can see, we got the whole cabinet built, we got the back attached, and now it's time to put the four drawers in. So let me do that and I can show you the finished cabinet. Thomas White, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video and my review of the Ultimate Garage 4-Drawer Cabinet.